Thus, how much will Mori's resignation help here? Well, I mean, I think the organizers must be thinking, what else could go wrong? Hmm. I mean, it's just been one scandal and gaffe and problem after another. So, yeah, Maury's uh, exit uh, will help, but um, I think it's done a lot of damage. And the way he went was rather messy at first. The, uh, the old guards circled the wagons, tried to protect him. And 20 years ago, they probably would have gotten away with it, but just no longer. It was just unbelievable. And his comments say, well, we already have enough board members, and those women know their place. So, you know, uh, Human Rights Watch awarded him the gold medal for sexism, and clearly it was time for him to exit. But just think back to when Japan got the Olympic bid in 2013. I mean, the Zaha Hadid stadium design canceled. Oh, the logo was plagiarized. Uh, mm. You know, it's just been... Uh, after that, it turns out that they, they spent almost $28 billion. Then the pandemic derailed uh, the uh, Olympics last year. Now we have new strains that may uh, raise a lot of question right. marks for this year. Abe had to resign um, its health and scandal issues. And the head of the JOC, the Japan Olympic Committee, had to resign uh, amid all these bribery allegations. So, you know, it's just a one black eye after another. And the thing about the Olympics, they're supposed to be branding and showcasing the strengths of the country, and it hasn't really gone very well. Exactly. Everything that you mentioned, though, I have to say, seems like a lifetime ago, just because so much has happened since Tokyo actually got the <laughs> Olympics, right? And this brings me to my question. As you said, this was supposed to be a sort of coming out party, was supposed to be the light at the end of the tunnel after the coronavirus, economic downturns. What happens to Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga? Because he doesn't seem to be doing that well after taking over Prime Minister Abe politically when it comes to the polls. He's dropped like a rock. Um, you know, he backed this uh, domestic tourism campaign called Go To, and there was a clear link between that and the third wave uh, of the pandemic here, and he got blamed for it. And the diet, I mean, it's like a Monty Python parody. I mean, he is so wooden. It just bats away questions he doesn't want to answer. And so he hasn't done himself any favor. He's a bad communicator, shows no empathy. But he does show determination to go on with the Olympics. Uh, same for the International Olympic Committee. They remain determined to hold them uh, despite all the uncertainties and risks. And I guess people are hoping uh, that the vaccination rollout that starts this week uh, will be the magic wand. So we were seeing a little earlier on the screen there a poll saying that 80 percent of Japanese either want the Olympics cancelled or postponed. How likely is it, in your view, to proceed as planned this year? I'd say there's a lot of uncertainties. Um, you know, go back to last year. Up until the end of March, uh, everybody in a position of power was saying, we're going on, you know, it's going to happen. And then finally they abruptly pulled the plug. Right now it looks sort of similar. Um, the vaccination campaign uh, for the general public is probably not going to begin until June. Half of the Japanese people don't want to be inoculated. And as you pointed out, 80% are pretty much just fine with pulling the plug. So, you know, public support uh, is weak. Uh, but they're hoping that if they do stage the games, stage them safely, uh, the public will rally. Um, you know, there's a lot of ifs and buts and uncertainties out there. So I'd say chances are less than 50-50 uh, that it's a go. Mm -hmm. Well, the cost of staging the games obviously eye-watering. How important is it economically that they do go ahead? Well, you know, the money's pretty much all been spent. I mean, you know, there'll be a lot of unsold swag and hotels will be uh, empty if they don't hold it. Um, I think principally uh, the government wants this to be a coming out party, you know, the end of the pandemic, let's celebrate and let's rev up that tourism because, you know, tourism just, you know, fell off the cliff last year. Uh, they had uh, gone up to about 32 million 
visitors in 2019, which was quadruple the level in 2010. And so they're hoping that that will be a big stimulus for the Japanese hospitality and transport sectors. But uh, right now, uh, they're all in deep, deep trouble and bleeding.